Hello everybody, uh, this is Bob Kalinowski from the Citizen's Voice. A reporter here at the Citizen's Voice. We're outside Chaco's Family Bowling Center in Wilkesbury. Apparently there was a shooting here tonight. Um, from what I'm told by the owner, uh, there was a group fighting inside, got in an argument. They took their argument outside. And there apparently are lots of shots fired here tonight in the parking lot of Chaco's. The, basically the entire parking lot is surrounded in crime tape. The owner told me that people are not allowed to leave. There's multiple cars hit. Um, I do know somebody was struck. Uh, police converged on a home on Park Avenue and Hill Street. A person who was responsive was taken by ambulance. Um, as you can see, Wilkes-Barre police are searching between all these cars. A couple cars right here. There's a tire shot out. Uh, there's some smashed glass, as you can see. And if my phone dies, I'm sorry. We're getting low on battery. But multiple Wilkes-Barre police officers here on scene at Chaco's. The business is open still. The bar and restaurant area is open as well. And... Um, Again, to stress, the owner wanted to stress, this did not happen inside. It had nothing to do with Chaco's, the owner said. It was just a bunch of people arguing. And then, gunshots erupted outside. So, we know at least one person, we believe, was shot. Multiple cars hit in a shooting outside Chaco's. Um, people are that, whose cars were hit were taken, um, uh, it was announced to come outside to inspect the damage and trade their information with police. Looks like WBRE is going live soon. We really didn't hear a lot from police yet. Obviously, they're busy investigating this. But again, almost all of Chaco's parking lot is cordoned off. One person hit. We were told it was in responsive. He was responsive when taken by ambulance. And as you can see, all these people are t t being told they can't leave because they got crime tape all around their cars. And we'll take uh, take one more walk past the uh, Wilkesbury Boulevard side of things to show you what's going on. Not sure if anyone's in custody of the shooting or how many actors, but there was like a the owner said there was a group who were fighting, I guess opposing groups, and they took their differences outside tonight here outside Chaco's. Um, we do know one person was wounded at some point, or one person was wounded. Several cars hit business this did not happen did not happen inside the business according to the owner multiple vehicles hit um, mostly in this area right here um, where you could see a lot of casings I don't know if all the I don't know if all these evidence markers are casings but there's a lot of evidence markers and police are even searching uh, other areas that are not cordoned off for evidence so once this, uh, I conclude this video, you'll be able to watch it in its entirety again on our Facebook page in case for some reason you um, uh, tuned, on, tuned in, in late before, after I started. Uh, this will be on our Facebook. You'll see what it's, the whole scene was like here at Chaco's. Um, but looks, uh, I think WBRE is going live. If you want to turn on WBRE, I don't see channel 16 here. So at 11 o'clock, Turn on WBRE, they're here. I believe they're going live. So that's a, a wrap from here at Chaco's tonight. Uh, the business is operational.
people are still bowling. People are still in the restaurant. And part of the reason is the police are, have asked people not to leave, especially the cars that are in this uh, caution tape area. So that's uh, all we know now. Tune in to the Citizen. Like I said, BRE is going live at 11, I believe. Uh, Citizen's Voice. So we'll have a full report on our website in tomorrow's edition. And um, I'm sure Jim Halpin uh, early in the morning is going to come figure out the rest of this, our police reporter. So um, again, you can watch my full uh, video um, at, when I conclude this on our Facebook page. So good night, everyone. Stay safe out there.